Hold a moment, Altair. I have a strange request, but perhaps you'll see fit to assist me. I know you seek the Merchant King's life, but there are others in this city just as cruel. Several shopkeepers in this district have taken to selling rotten meat. It's cheap for them to acquire, and they care little for the illness that it causes. Several children have already died as a result. We should not allow this injustice to continue. Would you be willing to put a stop to this? saved untold lives. In return for your kindness, I'll give you a bit of information you might find useful. I overheard two of the Merchant King's servants this morning. It seems they've left some scaffolding just outside his personal quarters. You could use it to reach him that much quicker. He seems to be in a hurry. Now what? You should stop. You never see someone today. For today only. I've decided to reduce prices on everything. What is that thing running from? There is no reason for doing that. yourself. Peace be upon you, Altair. How may I serve you? I've done as asked and learned all I need to know about my prey. Then you must share your knowledge with me. Abu Naqud is corrupt to the core and despised by his own citizens as a result. It appears he's been stealing money meant for the people of Damas and spending it on himself. Even as we speak, he flaunts his greed, preparing for a lavish party. His guards and servants should have their hands full dealing with the guests. 
They won't even know I'm there. Most impressive, my friend. The others said you'd make a mess of things, but not I. No, I was sure you'd come through, and come through you have. The Bureau is yours to do with as you please until you're ready to begin. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Find it here. I'm sure of it. Enjoy this bounty while we still can. War threatens to consume us all. Salah Adin bravely fights for what he believes in, and you are always there to support him without question. It is your generosity that allows this campaign to continue. So I propose a toast then to you, my dear friends, who have brought us to where we are today. 
May you be given everything you deserve for it. Such kindness! I didn't think it in you. You, who have been so quick to judge me, and so cruel. Oh, do not feign ignorance. You take me for a fool. But I have not heard the words you whispered behind my cap. Well, I have, and I fear I can never forget. But this is not why I called you here tonight, no. I wish to speak more of this war, and your part in it. You give up your coin quick as can be, knowing all too well it buys the deaths of thousands. You don't even know why we fight. The sanctity of the Holy Land, you're saying, or the evil inclination of our enemies. But these are lies you tell yourselves. <laughs> no, all this suffering is born of fear and hate. It bothers you that they are different, just as it you that I am different. <sighs> Compassion, mercy, tolerance. These words mean nothing to any of you, mean nothing to those infidel invaders who ravage our land in search of gold and glory. And so I say, enough! I've pledged myself to another cause, one that will bring about a new world in which all people might live side by side in peace. A pity none of you will live to see. <laughs> Kill <laughs> anyone who tries to escape. now. Their words can no longer do harm. Why have you done this? You stole money from those you claim to lead. Sent it away for some unknown purpose. I want to know where it's gone and why. Look at me. My very nature is an affront to the people I ruled. And these noble robes did little more than to muffle their shouts of hate. So this is about vengeance then? No, not vengeance, but my conscience. How could I finance a war in service to the same god that calls me an abomination? If you do not serve Salah din's cause, then whose? In time, you'll come to know them. I think perhaps you already do. Then why hide? And why these dark deeds? Is it so different from your own work? You take the lives of men and women, strong in the conviction that their deaths will improve the lots of those left behind. A minor evil for a greater good? We are the same. No, we are nothing alike. Ah, but I see it in your eyes. You doubt. You cannot stop us. We will have our new world. Get in the way, make it
Get away from me! of your success, Altair. Abu Nakud's reign of terror is at an end. I'm glad to hear it. He killed them. The men and women at his party. It was poison. A coward's tool. Blamed them for the war. Said he wished to end it. Strange. But then again, the merchant king was known to be a bit... different. Perhaps this was simply a symptom of his madness. Perhaps. You sound unconvinced. Speak with al Mualab, then. He may offer a better explanation. Yes, we'll see what he has to say. Fast forward in memory to a more recent one. Short blade is best for quickly fending off multiple enemies. Come, Altair. Speak with me a moment. As you wish. Word has reached me of your success. You have my gratitude and that of the realm. Freeing these cities from their corrupt leaders will no doubt promote the cause of peace. Can you really be so sure? The means by which men rule are reflected in their people. As you cleanse the cities of corruption, you heal the hearts and minds of those who live within. Our enemies would disagree. What do you mean? Each man I've slain has confessed strange words to me. They are without regret. Even in death they seem confident of their success. Though they do not admit it directly, there is a tie that binds them. I'm sure of it. There is a difference, Altair, between what we are told to be true and what we see to be true. Most men do not bother to make the distinction. It is simpler that way. But as an assassin, 
It is your nature to notice, to question. Then what is it that connects these men? Ah, but as an assassin, it is also your duty to still these thoughts and trust in your master. For there can be no true peace without order, and order requires authority. You speak in circles, master. You commend me for being aware, then ask me not to be. Which is it? The question will be answered when you no longer need to ask it. I assume you called me here for more than just a lecture. <laughs> Very well. A rank and weapon are again restored to you. Two more leaders remain. Go and see to it that their rule is ended. Altair, it seems my students do not fully understand what it is to wield the blade. Perhaps you could show them what you know. Use the scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. Word has spread of your deeds, Altair. It seems you are sincere in your desire to redeem yourself. I do what I can. And sometimes you do it well. I assume it is work that reunites us? Yes. William of Montferrat is my target. What can you tell me of the man himself? William has been named regent while the king conducts his war. The people see it as a strange choice given the history between Richard and William's son, Conrad. But I think Richard rather clever for it. Clever how? Richard and Conrad do not see eye to eye on most matters. Though they are civil enough in public, there are whispers that each intends evil upon the other. And then, there was that business with Akkar's captured Saracens. In its wake, Conrad has returned to Tyre, and Richard has compelled William to remain here as his guest. You mean his hostage? Whatever you wish to call it. William's presence here should dissuade Conrad from acting out. I've never been one for politics. But surely you realize your every action shapes the course of this land's future. You are a politician too, in your own way. As you wish. Now where would you suggest I begin my search? Richard's citadel, southwest of here. Or rather, the market in front of it. You'll find the Cathedral of the Holy Cross in that direction as well. It's a popular place and should be filled with talkative citizens. Finally, try the border to the west, where the chain and hospitaler districts meet. That should start you on your way. Very well. 
I won't disturb you further. It's no trouble at all. Does he really have a reason for doing that? Hey! He seems to be in a hurry. <laughs> you are not allowed to be here. Leave! <laughs> Not supposed to be here. Leave. Teach the call. Has he gone mad? What is that man thing? You dare steal in my presence! 
That will cost you your life. Leave, peasant. It's forbidden for you to be here. <laughs> He should stop acting like a child. Stop it, please! You're hurting me! <laughs> you dirty thief! I'll have your hands for that! That hurts! Stop it, please! <laughs> Do your life. <laughs> Die, thief. No, you don't understand. I'm poor, sir. Thief. This will teach you nothing. <laughs> Leave, peasant. Come no further. Stop. You must not trespass. <laughs> <laughs> Be yourself. Does he really have a reason for doing that?
Should you enter a fist fight, guards will not interfere. What a bargain! Obéissons, Seigneur. Chances. I hurry home. Don't think I'll leave it again anytime soon either. You've done me a kindness, young man. Be assured I won't forget it. Use the scholars you have rescued to pass unnoticed into guarded areas. Huh? <laughs> 
Come on, come on, see what I've got to offer. You won't believe your eyes. You dirty thief! I'll have your hands for that! I've too many things. Why are you doing this? What have I done? Die, thief! Why are you doing this? What have I done? Die, thief! What the hell is he doing? Like a there What's that fool do doing? He should stop acting like a child. You're somewhere you shouldn't be. Leave before you get hurt. What's that fool doing? What's going to What's him? Going? What's he running? Oh! oh. You're not supposed to be here. Leave. Leave! 
this place. Who's responsible for this? Einmal schon habt ihr ihn Ah! 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 
kill this person. How did this happen? An assassin! You think you can outrun me? Out of my it. damn way! Yourself tempted, go and pray. Oh, right. Ask God for direction. If your heart is Did pure, you see that? He will surely answer. <laughs> Stay strong, citizens. Remain fixed in your belief. Though the road is long and your trials many, know that God watches over you. It is His hand that guides our warriors to victory. Fear and doubt <laughs> are our enemies. Do not listen to their lies. Poisonous words meant to sow the seeds of confusion. If you find yourself You're not supposed to be here. Leave. Leave, peasant. <laughs> You're out of knives. Refill your stock. Oh! 
And so he punishes us. Sends hordes of freedom warriors to the Ah! I could have been injured. People killed! Now why is he <laughs> doing that? Oh my! Wouldn't it be funny if he hurt himself? You must not trespass here. Come no further. Nonsense. <laughs> 